Oh. Oh. Ah, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Oh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Mm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the Octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Hey, so are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on! Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. Whoops! <laughs> a tree lobster? Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew we'd find them! Listen to this. Lord Howe's Island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! Ah! A baby tree lobster. I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. We're on our way. Quasi, peso, to the guts. <laughs> to find all the octo floats, we'll have to split up. Aye, and it looks like we have some company. Then there's not a moment to lose. up the ocean, do ya? Oh, I've made a home out of all kinds of rubbish before now. Whatever keeps me safe from the birds up above and the big fish below. When I find a home this good, I don't give it up easily. <coughs> the mast! There's 
It's no time to argue, Trixie. You better dive down deeper where it's safe. I'm staying right here. No water spout's gonna scare me out of my own. All right, you don't have to leave your home, but I've got to move it to safety. <laughs> Follow me, Trixie. <laughs> Like he's in there with a pig.